welcome, my name is Freya, and today I'm going to be guiding you through a 45 minute power vinyasa class. This class is definitely not a beginner's class, so if you are a beginner, I recommend you go back to my YouTube channel and pick out a slightly easier video. In saying that, I'm going to assume you've got quite a good personal practice, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about how to get in and out of the poses. I'm just going to make this a really beautiful, flowy, strong class. I'm six months postpartum, so I'm probably about at 80% of my abs, um, so feel free to add on or take away depending how you're feeling today. Child's Pose and Downward Dog is a great pose to come into if you want to have a little rest. Otherwise, it's only going to be 45 minutes, so we're really going to build up some fire and have a beautiful, strong practice. The only thing you're going to need is a pillow or a bolster. Um, this will just be for the end of the class. Uh, we're going to do a beautiful chest opening um, asana at the end. So if you don't have a bolster, no worries, just grab a pillow from your bedroom. I'm using this beautiful Eco Bolster from Yoga Tribe. And I've actually got a discount code for Yoga Tribe, so if you're interested in getting a mat or a block from Yoga Tribe, I've got a discount code, which I'll leave here. And that's it. Get yourself ready, get yourself a mat, maybe some water, and I'll join you on the mat. So we're going to begin our practice today in a child's pose. So just coming down into an extended child's pose, touching the big toes together, sitting the heels back, the hips back on the heels, opening up the arms, and just dropping the forehead to the mat. Then we'll start to bring the awareness to the breath now. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Release it out through the mouth. We'll do that three more times. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Two more times in your own breath. Deeply in. Last one, and this time we're going to pause at the top of the inhale. Inhale deeply. Pause at the top, maybe take one last sip of air. And then exhale, release everything out through the mouth. Keeping the forehead pressed to the mat, just start to gently massage the forehead by rocking the head from side to side. Starting to take natural breaths, but breathing into the belly now, breathing through the nose only. In this practice, it's really important that we keep the breath in the belly, especially when we're moving through some challenging asanas. We want to really focus on the breath. Feeling it move in and out of the nose. Deep, slow, rhythmic breath. And as we start to tap into the internal body, let's start to move the external body, rocking the shoulders out from side to side, keeping the palms pressed on the mat. And just noticing any subtleties in the body here, maybe some slight aches or pains in the shoulders. Can you just start to massage out these areas as you move gently? Maybe starting to feel some tension in the hips. Can you breathe into that area, sending some fresh energy? even if it's just visualizing, sending energy there. Press into the palms, rock out the hips, rock out the shoulders. Take one full breath, let's breathe deeply in through the nose again. And let's let it out one more time through the mouth. Beautiful, pressing the palms of the hands onto the mat. We're gonna come up into onto the fingertips. Just clawing the mat and starting to hollow out underneath the armpits. Keep the forehead connected to the mat and just start to feel that beautiful stretch in the shoulders. We're going to be moving through a lot of sun salutations and downward facing dog today, so just really warming up the shoulders before we begin. Take a full breath, breathe in deep here, really feel the back of the body expand as you inhale. As you exhale, perhaps sinking deeper into that pose, sinking that chest deeper down to the mat. Relax the hands back down on the mat. And gently and slowly bring yourself up into a tabletop. We'll just take a quick rest stretch. Like I said, we're gonna be moving through a few downward facing dogs and a few sun salutations today. So just rocking out yourself onto the mat. Just rocking the shoulders over the wrist, maybe moving backwards and forwards. This is just a really organic movement. Your body will need something completely different to mind today. So just noticing how the body is feeling, pressing all 10 fingers onto the mat. And 
just gently rocking yourself forwards and backwards, just feeling that subtle stretch in the wrist joints. Beautiful, turning the fingers towards the body, and just taking that same action, rocking the body forwards and backwards. This might feel a little bit more tender, especially when you rock backwards, just be gentle here. Just starting to engage the abs, not seeing if you're just sinking in the lower back. You can start to tuck the tailbone, you start to engage the abs. This is really going to set up a beautiful foundation as we start to move through our downward facing dogs, coming through Chaturanga. Just really laying down those foundations today before we begin the practice. Take a few circular motions down with the wrist, maybe turn the fingers back, and face the front. Just a last few movements here. Beautiful, take the knees underneath the hips if they've moved. And we'll come down into a quick mountain heart pose and again just to warm up those shoulders. So tiptoeing the fingers forwards, we're going to start to bring the chest down towards the mat, bringing the chin down towards the mat. Looking forwards, take a deep breath, feel the back of the body expand. Again, let's let it out through the mouth. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Bring yourself back to tabletop. Hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes and send yourself back into a downward facing dog. And just make this first downward facing dog your own, just by paddling out the feet, maybe lifting up one leg. And just take any movements that we need today with the body. Again, we're just really trying to warm up the body, warm up the shoulders. So just take any movements that feel right for you today. Maybe sending the sit bones high. Maybe looking towards the front of the mat, taking that beautiful stretch along the back. Beautiful, take an inhale, come high up onto the toes, bend the knees, look forwards, and start to walk yourself to the front of the mat. Take your time here, step yourself right to the top of the mat, and just take the feet hip width distance apart, start to swing out the body. Beautiful, take a full breath, bring yourself into stillness, and as you inhale, bring yourself all the way up to standing. Standing in Tadasana, palms face forward, spread the toes on the mat. Close down the eyes, take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. your hands to heart center, press your thumbs to your sternum. If it serves you today, call to mind an intention for your practice. Feel that intention rise and expand towards your heart center. Take another full breath in through the nose. the hands, flutter open the eyes, take an inhale, reach up the arms, slight back bend, exhale, fold forwards, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, plant the hands, step back into a plank, take a moment here in your plank, line the spine, take an inhale, exhale, perhaps bending the knees or coming down through Chaturanga, depending on how warm you're feeling, Inhale, tuck the toes. Coming into cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, bend the knees or roll over the toes. Downward facing dog. Full breath here in downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose. Exhale it out through the mouth. Inhale, come high up onto the toes. Bend the knees, look forwards. Step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Back straight, neck long. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, come all the way up. Hands through heart center. Move through to Dasna. Keep moving. Inhale, reach the arms up. Slight back bend. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Back straight, neck long. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back into a plank. Coming through Chaturanga or bending the knees. Inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, roll over the toes. 
downward facing dog, full breath, inhale through the nose, let it out through the mouth, inhale come high up onto the toes, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump to the top of the mat, inhale halfway lift, exhale fold, inhale bring all the way up, hands through heart centre, arms by your side, we're going to start to pick up the pace, inhale reach up the arms, Exhale, fold through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step the jump back into a plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, through Chaturanga. Inhale, to upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Keep moving now in your own breath. We're gonna take three more sun salutations. In your own breath, so just moving with your own body. I won't be giving cues, so adding on to any movements that feel good for you today. We'll all be back and down with facing dog once you've finished your three rounds. Once you finish your last round, bring yourself into downward facing dog. Just take three full breaths in through the nose, coming into child's pose if you need to. Otherwise, breathe deeply in through the nose. Maybe let it out through the mouth. We should all be in downward facing dog now. So taking the weight onto the left foot, maybe taking the left foot slightly closer into the center line of the body. Take an inhale, reach up the right leg, three-legged dog. Flex the toes and send the heel of that left foot slightly down, closer to the mat. Keep breathing, inhale. Then as you exhale, bend the knee, open the right hip. And start to look underneath the left armpit. Keep breathing. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Three legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee to the chest, roll over into plank. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to the chest, pause here, and then lightly step that right foot in between the hands. Bring yourself into a high lunge. Inhale here, look up. Exhale, sink into the hips. Keeping the legs where they are, you can take a bend in the knees. We're going to start to flow here. Inhale, look up slightly. Exhale, float, arrowhead. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arrowhead. Inhale, reach up, exhale, last two, inhale, and exhale, beautiful, inhale, back to high lunge, then exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back, open up the chest, and then we're going to start to take the weight onto the right foot, pressing up into a warrior three, keeping the arms behind you, find your balance, take an here. You can take a bend in that right knee if it feels good. And then as you 
Exhale, we're gonna gently and slowly start to stand up. Taking that left foot either to the ankle, below the knee, or all the way up into the thigh of the tree. Bring your hands into heart center, press your thumbs to your sternum. Deep breathing. With your next inhale, reach up the arms. Take any variation of tree here. Maybe you want to move the arms, roll the wrist. Maybe you want to take a bind with the arms, take a beautiful stretch of the shoulders. Whatever feels good for you. Three full breaths here. If you lose your balance, just bring yourself back calmly and gently. No judgment, no attachment. Just keep the breath here. One more full breath. Gently release the arms. Bring the hands back to prayer. Bring that knee forwards and gently start to kick back into a warrior three. Find your balance here, flex that back foot, and then float yourself back to a high lunge. You might need to adjust that foot forward, take an inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna open up into a twist. We're gonna open the left arm forwards, right arm back. And again, we're gonna float here. If it doesn't feel good to move here, just stay here, that's fine. Otherwise, inhale, come back to high lunge. Exhale, open and twist. There should be no jarring pain in the back here. Just be really, really gentle. Move with your own body. And again, stillness is there if you need it. Otherwise, three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, bring yourself back to the center. Exhale, turn out that back foot. Warrior two. Take a moment here to align yourself. Take your gaze over the front arm. Take a full breath. Inhale. Exhale, sink the hips a little bit deeper. We're going to flow here. So making this a really beautiful flow. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Press the palms together. Exhale, flow back to warrior two. Four more times in your own breath. Keep breathing. Last one, inhale and exhale. Float that right arm down to the right leg. Inhale, reach up the left arm. Beautiful side stretch here. Really extending out through that left hip all the way down to the left fingertips. Take either gaze under the arm or you can gently look down in front of you. Take a full breath, keep breathing. Inhale, reach up that right arm, coming into a powerful side stretch, really extending out through the side of the body. Keep breathing. One more full breath. And then as you inhale, open the arms, we're gonna come into half moon. So gently start to send the weight over the right foot, lifting up that left leg. breath inhale and exhale step yourself back into a warrior two open the arms take a full breath in through the nose exhale reverse the warrior inhale back to warrior two we're going to come into a bind now so taking that left elbow sorry right elbow down onto the right leg and maybe taking it all the way around underneath and catching it with the left hand Looking up towards the sky, take a full breath. If Bird of Paradise is in your practice, perhaps come into Bird of Paradise. Otherwise, you can take any variation here that feels good for you. Keep the breath deep. In through the nose, three more full breaths wherever you are. Last full breath, gently and slowly unwind the hands. Bring yourself back to a side stretch. Take your time to bring yourself back to warrior two. Inhale, press the palms together. Turn that right foot out. We're gonna come into a forward fold. 
So just tiptoeing the feet, and we're going to take the ankle slightly out, the toes slightly in. Inhale, look up here. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Open the chest. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward. So this is an active stretch. We're taking the arms behind the back. Two full breaths here. Maybe taking the legs a little bit wider. This headstand is in your practice here. Feel free to come into a headstand. We'll be here for a little bit longer. We'll give you time to come in and out of the pose. Keep breathing. Last full breath. And then gently and slowly release the hands either side. Start to tiptoe the fingers just in front of the face. We're going to take the left hand and we're going to place it on the mat and then we're going to start to reach up the right arm. If your hips start to pop up here, you've gone a little bit too fast. Try to keep the hips level. We're taking a beautiful stretch for the chest. Keep breathing deeply through the nose. One more full breath. And exhale, bring yourself down. You can wiggle out the hips a little bit. Maybe take a shoulder stretch. And then bring yourself onto the other side. So this time the right hand comes to the center line of the body. We reach up the left arm. Again, just notice if those hips pop up. You've gone a little bit too far. Keep the breath deep in the belly. Three full breaths. Gently and slowly release the hands back either side. Gently tiptoe the feet slightly back in. Turning that left foot in, that right foot out. Coming back as gracefully as possible into a warrior two. Beautiful, take a full breath here in warrior two. Exhale. As you exhale, windmill the hands, frame the front foot, coming through a three-legged chaturanga or just a classic chaturanga, depending on how you're feeling. Otherwise, three-legged chaturanga. Inhale with control, up to down, up to, up to upward facing dog. And then exhale, roll over the toes. Downward facing dog, beautiful. Full breath here in downward facing dog. Let's reset the breath in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. Coming onto the other side, taking that right foot to the center line of the body. Inhale the left leg high, three-legged dog, flex the toes. Send that right heel down to the mat, keeping the shoulders wide. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee, look underneath the right armpit. Open up that hip. Keep breathing. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, knee to the center of the chest. Three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the chest and lightly step that foot down, coming into a high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, sit down. Again, we're going to flow here. We're going to flow into our head. So take an inhale, look up slightly. Exhale, flat down to arrowhead. Inhale, reach up. Four more times in your own breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, back to high lunge. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Open up the chest. Come into warrior three. Take a full breath. Inhale. Exhale, start to shift the weight onto the left foot, flexing the back toes. Keep breathing, finding your balance. One more full breath. And then inhale gently and slowly bring that right foot this time either to the ground, below the knee, all the way up onto the thigh. Finding the hands gently in prayer, thumbs pressed to the sternum. Start to reset the breath, keep the breath deep. 
take any variation with the arms. And taking that beautiful shoulder stretch. One more full breath. And then inhale, bring your hands back to heart center. Start to kick that right foot back. Bring yourself back into a warrior three. Gently float that foot back down into a high lunge. Inhale, reach up, and then exhale, twist. So again, if twisting and moving doesn't feel right for you today, just stay in this twist. You can take lunges with the leg, or you can simply stay in a high lunge. Otherwise, we're going to inhale, reach up, exhale, open and twist. Inhale, reach up, exhale, open and twist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open and twist. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, inhale, reach up. I'm gonna turn myself around, you stay where you are. And we're gonna come into a warrior two on the other side. Beautiful, we're gonna flow here. So just making sure that you're aligned in your warrior two before we start to float. Inhale, reach up the arms. So the left foot is on the front, the opposite side. to the left leg. Inhale, we reach up the right arm. Get that beautiful side stretch, maybe looking up underneath the arm or looking down towards the mat. Deep breathing. One more full breath here. And then gently start to float that left arm off the leg, coming into a really active side stretch here. So really extending out through the side of your body. Three full deep breaths here, keep breathing. You're feeling that engagement in the legs and rolling out into the blade edge of that right foot. One more full breath. And then open the arms, we're gonna to start to send the weight onto that left foot, coming into a half moon. So flexing the right toes, looking down towards the mat. Keep breathing. One more full breath. And then gently and slowly step yourself back. Bring yourself back into a warrior two. Take a breath to reset. Inhale, reach up the arms. Exhale, float back to warrior two. Coming into that bind again. So again, if Road of Paradise is in your practice, you can come into Bird of Paradise. Otherwise, we'll come into a bind, lifting up that right shoulder towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. I haven't done Bird of Paradise since being pregnant, so I'm reluctant to try, especially on camera. But maybe I'll practice that for a bonus class. It's a really beautiful way to open up the hip. But you do still get that really beautiful hip opener here without going into the full pose. So we'll take one more full breath. And then gently release the bind. Bring yourself back into a warrior two. Turning that left foot now. Coming into a forward fold. So again, we want to take the heels out slightly, the toes in slightly. Inhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Look up towards the sky. And then bring yourself down into a forward fold. I'm going to stay here, maybe take the legs out a little bit wider. Again, if a headstand is in your practice, you can come into a headstand now. We'll give you about three breaths to give you time, or you can pause the video. Keep the breath deep. And then gently and slowly relax the arms down onto the mat. Press the hands in front of the face and just give yourself a little roll from side to side before we come into the side stretch. So this time we'll take the right hand to the center line of the body first and then we'll reach up the left arm. 
The idea here is to open the chest, we're not going to be popping out of the hips. So keep the breath deep in through the nose, out through the nose. Last breath, inhale and exhale, bring yourself back to the center. Give yourself a little reset, rock the neck from side to side. And then when you're ready, coming into the other side. So this time taking the left hand to the mat and gently and slowly opening up the right arm, looking up towards the sky. Take a full breath. One more full breath. Release the hands. Tip toe the feet in slightly. Turn that left foot back. Inhale, reach yourself up. Warrior two. Full breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, windmill the hands. Frame the front foot. Three legged chaturanga or a regular chaturanga. Take your time. Exhale, bring yourself down. Inhale, coming into upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in downward facing dog, in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Dropping down to child pose if you need, we're gonna take three full breaths. Again, I'm gonna turn myself around, stay where you are. Just really start to tap into the breath. If your breath is starting to move into the chest, bring it back into the belly. We'll be here for three more deep breaths, wherever you are in downward facing dog or in child's pose. Last full breath in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. If you're in child's pose, tucking the toes, coming back into a downward facing dog. Take an inhale, come high up onto the toes, bend the knees. And this time we're going to step the feet wide. So we're going to come into a yogi squat, Malasana. Again, stay here, but I'll just turn myself around because we're going to come into a crow pose. So while we're in Malasana, if it feels good, just start to gently rock the hips from side to side. Close down the eyes if you can and start to really send the breath. Full deep yogic breaths, breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the nose. Gently open the eyes and keeping the, the elbows where they are. If you do generally go into crow this way, I'll guide you this way because this is the way that I do it. If you do go up onto your triceps, then I invite you to do it your way, but I will be instructing it the way that I do it. So keeping the elbows inside of the knees, I'm gonna start to press the hands forwards and just gently bring the weight onto the elbows. So again, going into crow, whichever way works for you. If you're new to doing crow, just playing around gently not forcing anything. Again, this is the first time I've done crow since having a baby. <laughs> so it may fall, and that's fine. Let's play around with any variation that works for you. Staying where you are, we'll take three more breaths. And then we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So we're gonna just come into crow, whichever variation you're in. And then you're gonna take an inhale. You're going to jump the feet back straight into each other, right? Take an inhale, look up towards the ceiling, coming into upward facing dog. Exhale, rubber the toes. Downward facing dog, beautiful, we're almost there. Let's come into one more sun salutation. Inhale, come high up onto the toes. Bend the knees, look forward, step or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Through heart center, arms by your side. Now my breath has moved into my chest. So let's take a full breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Okay, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold through heart center. Inhale.
inhale halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back into plank. Exhale through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, that's the hardest part of the class done. We're going to come into some beautiful stretching before we come down into our final shavasana. Take an inhale, reach up the right leg. Exhale, bend the right knee and take the right ankle towards the left wrist. Coming into pigeon pose. We'll make this an active pose before we come into the relaxation. We're going to come high up onto the hips. Take the hands either side of the body. Option to stay here or we can come into cable pigeon by bending that left leg. Taking a hold of the ankle. Maybe you stay here. Or maybe you start to drift that right arm up to meet the left. I can't quite meet it today. That's fine. Breathing in through the nose. One more full breath. Release the right hand first. Gently release the left leg. Maybe tiptoe the right foot slightly closer to that ankle. I've got a pillow or bolster close by. Maybe taking it in front of you when you lay yourself down into your full pigeon. We won't be here for long, but just close down the eyes. Another beautiful variation in this pose that I like to teach is just taking two fists on top of each other and just massaging that space in between the forehead. This is a really beautiful way to relax the nervous system. Bring yourself fully into your body. Beautiful release down. Take the hands either side. The leg, tuck the toes. And bring yourself back into a downward facing dog. Paddle out the feet. Rock out the hips. And then we'll get ready to come into the other side. So we'll lift up the left leg. Bend the left knee towards the chest, and again, this time we're taking the left ankle towards the right wrist. Coming into an active pose first, lifting up the hips, opening up the chest. And again, taking king pigeon if that feels good. This is definitely my tighter side, so I'm just probably going to take my right foot, my right hand, and maybe start to lift up my left arm. This requires a bit of focus and a bit of balance. So just moving with your own body. So taking the full expression, coming into that easier variation. Slowly starting to wind down the back fist. Take a full breath. And then exhale, release out. Again, maybe take that hand slightly closer to the wrist if you really want to get into that glute. And then we'll bring ourselves down. Expression, closing the eyes, and again taking any variation that feels good. I love to take the fists in between my eyebrows and just massage that space. Keeping my eyes closed, keeping my breath deep. Two more full breaths. the hands out, take the hands either side of the leg, tuck the right toes and bring yourself back into a downward facing dog. Again just take any movements here, maybe lift up that leg, rock out the hips, just do anything that feels good. Then bend the knees, coming into kneeling and turning around to laying on your back. We're going to come into a few bridge variations. Now the option here is to come fully into wheel at the beginning. I do recommend maybe doing a bridge first just to warm up the lower spine, but if you do feel like you've got quite a lot of the board back, you can come directly into wheel. Otherwise, I'll be guiding you through a bridge variation first. So taking the heels towards the sit bones, just making sure that the lower back is connected to the floor. Take a breath here. And as 
the exhale starts to lift up the hips, coming high up onto the shoulder blades, tapping the chin to the chest. Stay here or interlace the fingers, come high up onto the shoulders. Sort of send the hips high. Staying here or taking a variation by planting that left foot on the mat and lifting up the right. Again, stay here. Or you can gently start to lift the hips a little bit higher. Keep breathing. Gently place that right foot down. Lift up the hips again. And then release the hands down. Open the shoulder blades and gently and slowly drop the spine down. So if you lift up the right leg, I recommend doing bridge again. Going into the left side and then we can all do wheel. If you're directly in wheel, we do wheel three. Uh, two more times. Pressing into the hands again, pressing that lower back into the mat first. Inhale, reach up. Interlace the fingers behind the back, coming high up into the shoulder blades. And then this time pressing into the right foot, lifting up that left leg. Inhale, lift the hips a little bit higher. Keep breathing. One more full breath. And then plant that left foot back down, lift up the hips one more time. Press the hands into the mat, open up the shoulder blades gently and slowly, bring the mat the back back down onto the mat. Let's rock the legs out from side to side, make sure work the knees. And then we'll finally come into wheel for the last pose. So I'm assuming you safely know how to come into wheel. If you don't, then just come straight back into the bridge. Otherwise, taking the arms behind the back, and again you can take any variation here you can lift up a leg and again you can take any variation here you can lift up a leg or you can simply stay with me for two breaths last full breath and then gently bend the elbows bring yourself down onto the mat rest the lower back onto the mat release the arms either side Make sure wipe the knees. Beautiful. Kicking the legs or the feet outside of the mat and just knocking the knees together. You should feel a slight stretch in the lower back. Take one hand onto the heart, one hand onto the belly and just breathe here. Just acknowledge the work body is done today. Just settle the breath deeply in through the nose and out through the nose. As we bring ourselves to the end of the class, just slowly winding down the body. We've brought a lot of fire into the body. Just acknowledging the work that the body's done. Just getting ready to bring the mind into some stillness. Release the arms out either side. Take the legs out long. And this is where we're going to start to use the bolster or the pillow. So we're going to come into Sukta Baddha Konasana, but we're going to come into a chest opening in Sukta Baddha Konasana. I love doing this pose at the end of the class because it's just a really way, really beautiful way to open up the chest. So we're going to take the bolster to the lower back, bringing the soles of the feet together and just simply lying down. Take a full breath. Let it out. You might be starting to feel some tingling sensations in your fingers and your toes. Maybe just placing your hands on your belly and just imagine sending that energy into your belly. I like to imagine that my belly is a reserve. I can keep energy there. I can use whenever I need it. So just visualize sending that energy to radiate and through your fingertips into your belly. Thank you. 
forcing your breath here and just letting it flow, evening it up through the nose. Keeping the eyes closed, option to stay here or release the hands either side. Coming into a supported shavasana, keeping the bolster of the toes. You can take the legs out wide. And just notice how beautiful it feels to subtly open the chest. This is quite a vulnerable position to be in. So if you do feel slightly overwhelmed, you can take the bolster away from it and really just come to a regular shavasana. Otherwise, this is the end of the class. So if you want to pause the video, you can stay here for as long as you like. To join me for 10 full breaths coming into the sitting position. your 10 breaths. Gently bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Roll your stuff over into the fetal position. Take a moment to pause here. Keeping the eyes closed, gently and slowly guide yourself up to a comfortable seat. You can sit on your block or your bolster. Coming into a comfortable seat, closed on the eyes again. Place the palms facing down just to contain the energy that you've created for yourself in this practice. Notice how the breath moves and flows in through the nose. Take a full breath in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. your palms together, bring your thumbs to your sternum, gently bow the head. Take a moment to thank yourself for doing this practice. Just take a moment to thank your body for allowing you to practice today. Bring your thumbs together, look at your third eye, gently bow the head. Thank you so much for sharing your practice me today. Have a beautiful rest of your day. So I really hope you enjoyed this practice today. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.